Prong settings are one of the most common ways to secure a diamond on a ring. Thin metal prongs extend over the diamond's crown to hold it in place. It strikes the balance between showcasing the table, crown, and pavilion while also protecting the diamond from any hits or drops. But even if you've chosen a prong setting for your ring, there are several options to consider. One, V-Proms. V-Prom settings are named after its shape. Most prongs have a solid round or square face, but V-Prongs have a slit down the middle that separates it into two parts. The notch forms a V so each side can grasp a different edge of the diamond. In most cases, they are used for diamonds with sharp corners like princess or marquise cuts. 2. Round Prongs. Round Prongs are the most common design. When viewed from the top, they appear like buttons holding the diamond in place. They are uninvasive which helps maximize the diamond's appearance and light performance. Unlike other types, round prongs don't extend far over the girdle. 3. Claw prongs Claw prongs are distinguished by their pointed ends that extend over the girdle to grip its crown. They start wide at the base and narrow as they approach the end. Claw prongs mimic talons. This style reaches further over the diamond compared to V-prongs and round prongs. On the one hand, this is a downside because you want to leave as much of the diamond exposed as possible. But the way this type of prong compensates is through its thin design. It's a minimalist style, where the surface area at the points is less than many other types. For Del Claw, a popular variation of claw prongs is Del Claw prongs. Instead of four instances of a single prong gripping the stone, they are placed in pairs of two for a total of eight. View the piece above from the side view. You'll discover how the Del Claw prongs are formed when it splits into two halfway up the prong. 5. 4 Prong 4 Prong settings are named after the number of prongs holding the diamond. It's the most popular number used because it provides the necessary security while not covering too much of the diamond. The standard style of 4 Prong settings is positioning them equidistant around the diamond, whether it's a round, princess, emerald, or cushion. But there are two ways of setting the prongs that each offer a distinct look. 6. 6 Prong 6 Prong settings secure the diamond with an additional 2 prongs. They are still equidistant apart but there's a shorter distance between them. The exact position depends on the cut. On a pair cut diamond, one prong sits on each end, and there are two on each side of the wider part. One reason buyers choose a six prong setting is for more security. In a four prong setting, one loose or bent prong could cause the stone to fall out. In a six prong setting, even two prongs could loosen and still hold it. They also protect the girdle, which is the area that separates the crown from the pavilion. 7. Flat Tap Flat Tap prongs hold a diamond in a similar way as other styles. 4 or 6 prongs start from the top of the shank and extend over the crown. But if you view the piece from the top or head-on, you'll notice they are flat on top and lay closer to the diamond. They often cover larger surface area compared to variations like claw or V prongs. This can reduce brilliance because there's fewer visible facets to collect and return light. It's unusual for a diamond to feature multiple styles of prongs, but there are exceptions with certain cuts. They tulip prongs. Tulip prongs are a unique style of setting where the diamond sits in a flower-shaped basket. The design begins at the top of the ring, where the curved prongs extend upward to form a basket. In most cases, there are four or six interconnected prongs. Tulip settings aren't a popular choice for engagement rings, but they offer a sense of elegance not found with a traditional style. 9. Shared prongs. Shared prongs are an alternative style. Instead of a single diamond on top of the ring, shared prongs are often found along the shank. Adjacent diamonds share two prongs. The goal is for the prongs to blend in with the piece so they aren't as visible. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.